It's 6 p.m. Today I photographed at mybottleshop.com.au. You've seen me there, you've seen the shoots that I do there, photographing lovely liquor bottles. But what I'm doing now, I'm doing the edit of those bottles and the process is, which I've explained a few times before, I don't think I've ever gotten all the way through the process, but I started telling you how I'd, what, what's required. And the basic requirement is that Steve at the bottle shop wants these images to uh, float on white. So there needs to be, I mean, this is just how I've shot it, so this, this is okay. But this base here, uh, the bottle, I'll just zoom in a little bit on that. Oops, now I've got to drag it in. Um, I can't do that with one hand. Hang on a second. <laughs> it's very difficult to do that with one hand. But yeah, that, that little bottle there that I, or that glass that I shot the bottle on needs to be removed. Now, how I remove it? Well, I use a Wacom tablet here, this guy. Now, this is a little bit easier for me to use than a mouse, just in some certain instances. Definitely, a mouse is a great tool in many, many, many applications, but just for a couple of things I do with this, this guy, the Wacom, used with the pen that comes with it, it's definitely easier, it's quicker, it's more precise. This guy's called an Intuos. I think it's a Pro Intuos, it's a sm the small size. Yeah, Intuos Pro Small. And before I show you how I use it, the first thing that you'll notice when you do use these, one of these for the very first time is they're very different than a trackpad. You might be used to a trackpad or an iPad when you, you know, you, you pinch here and you, and you move and you, and you drag and you, you drag along. The first thing you notice with this is, this actually, the width of this is the size of your screen. So if you put the, if you put the, the pen up at this corner, you're actually putting the cursor up at this corner of the screen and likewise everywhere else you move it to. So if I put it over here, it's not like, like on a trackpad, you click and you drag along to move. Whereas this, you actually have to move your hand physically and that, and that's why I got a small one because I don't want one that I've got to go all the way up there and all the way over there and all the way down here and all the way over there. I just wanted a small one that could, you know, the resolution of your screen's irrelevant as long as you have, yeah, it's irrelevant. It doesn't make a difference. You could have any size resolution on your screen and then as long as you know and are aware that what you do with hit, with this is the, the same map to the screen. So, how do I use it and why do I use it? Well, there's a certain thing I need to do right now and crop that base off. So I'll just zoom in a little bit so we can see it. And now I've got to hold this again. <laughs> so we've got that there. And now basically with one little click, and I can't show you, can I show you both happening at the same time? I probably can't. I can I need the pen tool, grab the pen tool, the click. You can't see that, can you? I'm clicking down here. I'm drawing a nice curve in three clicks, basically. And that's the result. Well, you didn't see me do it because it's very difficult to do it and vlog it at the same time. But basically, using this mechanism gives me more of a... That's really struggling to focus. Come on, GH5. Stay with me. That's really a lot more accurate to use in my mind. Now, I have seen some instances where people use a Wacom tablet for other things. I remember watching in one uh, job I was in a little while ago, there was a guy who used to use the Wacom tablet for all of his computing needs. For me, that's mind-boggling. The mouse is way more efficient for so many